what's up guys it's Robert uh, from On The Ridge Adventures uh, welcome back to the channel uh, tonight we're gonna go do another little coon hunt uh, uh, about a week ago I posted a video I'll put a link to that at the end of this uh, at, at the end of this one uh, but a hunt we did down in uh, Blanco Texas uh, with Mr. Blackburn when I went to go pick up a new dog that's uh, my new dog Lily that's her right there this will be her uh, first hunt down here in uh, southern New Mexico with me so uh, Let's get loaded up and uh, head down to the river and see if we can't catch us a coon. All right, so we're out here now. Let's go ahead and uh, dump the dogs and uh, let's get this hunt started. That's Abner there. You guys have already seen him a couple times already in some of my, in my videos. This is Lily. She's the new dog, so let's see how she does tonight. Hopefully she don't run off. <laughs> We don't get her back. Come on, Lily girl. All right. So let's uh, get going. Let's start roading them down this road. guys a quick update uh, we've been hunting for oh, about an hour now I haven't even gotten a single bark tonight uh, I don't know if we're just out here too early we got out here about uh, 9 o'clock uh, p.m. is about the time I dumped the dogs uh, we've been roading oh, a couple miles now having not even a single bark uh, good thing little females doing pretty good uh, it's not a trashy dog which is good because man that would be a pain to deal because we have a lot of javelinas down here and uh, I don't want to have to deal with javelina races and dealing with javelina, so that's a good thing. Uh, but then again, maybe we haven't hit a javelina track. So, but uh, so far she hasn't just been, you know, barking like an idiot anywhere or acting dumb. Uh, she's hunting pretty good. She's following the older dog, Abner. Uh, so we're gonna keep on hunting for a couple more hours. Uh, hopefully we can get something in the tree to show you guys. So right now, Abner doing a little bit of tail whipping. It's about the action we've had tonight. Is uh. Him doing all that little tail whipping right here. Let's see if he can get something started. Um, out here, yep, there we go. I think he's going to strike. Yeah, out here the conditions are really bad. I mean, uh, we're in southern New Mexico. It's pretty much the desert. Uh, we've got a little narrow strips here and there on the river that we can hunt. Uh, it's nothing like what we were hunting down there in, uh, in Texas when I went to pick up uh, Lily there. I mean, the conditions there were whew, superb conditions compared to here. Um, but, you know, we catch a few coons here and there. Um, you know, nothing like, I mean, you know, all the guys back east and whatnot catch. You know, a lot of our tracks are real cold tracks, kind of like what we got going on here. And, you know, the dogs will run it for a long ways before they finally get them caught. But uh, let's see if they can work this one out and uh, get to trailing and uh, get something caught. over there booger barking at the train I don't know what she's, going on. <laughs> she's new here so just a minute ago uh, I had both dogs barking uh, they've moved it through this pretty thick stuff right here um, I don't know I have Abner barking treed but I don't think he's treed yet because he doesn't bark at me so often uh, Lily opened a little bit on it which is good so Let's see, maybe they got something down in there. I might uh, have to end up crawling in here in a second. Uh, go see what they got. All right, so they uh, tried to work that one uh, for a little bit. Uh, and it didn't go anywhere. Uh, it's usually kind of typical around here. You might get coon that left a bunch of scent on you know all these little salt cedars at the bottom or like a denning tree. And they just can't move it nowhere. They got back in there quite a ways. Uh, Get a bark here and there. Um, the little female went in there too. She started opening, which is good. Uh, but yeah, like I said, they just couldn't move it nowhere. So we'll uh, keep on pushing down. Maybe we can pick it up a little further down the road. Uh, make it a, you know, maybe get, maybe it'll get a little bit hotter down there. So stay tuned. And of course, typical male dog. They gotta mark everything they come by. So let's see, we're, this seems to be a little bit better here. The ground seems to have a little bit more, 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 more moisture in this area. So let's see if we can't uh, get something started here. 
All right, so we got strike number two for the night. Uh, Sound like about the last one. Super cold track. I don't think they'll be, be able to go anywhere. I think they got some pretty good scent right there off the beginning, uh, right off the bat. Uh, got a few barks. Uh, sounds like they're still back there in that brush trying to work it out. So see what happens. Uh, like I said, it's uh, real tough conditions down here. Um, we're pretty much down in the desert. So uh, we dogs a lot of times have a hard time uh you know and then sometimes they can get on one and just burn it down down in here so i know it's fun to do it uh i don't think anybody really thinks that there's uh coons in the desert but <laughs> there is so let's see where this goes uh, we still got some time to hunt let's see if they can work this one out all right so we got another strike <clears throat> now I'm starting to kind of be convinced that they might just be opening up on these uh, ringtail cats. Um, only because, man, I've seen a, another pile of those things again tonight. Uh, we've only been out here for, oh, about an hour and a half. No, almost two hours, and I've seen uh, four of them so far. So, I don't know. They're opening pretty good on this one. Uh, working it pretty good, so maybe we got us a coon. I don't know. Little female hasn't opened up yet. Uh, Abner seems to be working it pretty good. Uh, so, oh, there she is. Now she's opening. She's got a terrible voice on her butt. <laughs> Let's see. I don't know. Maybe we'll turn up back in here. Let's see if they got something. All right. The dogs are barking. Um, I had to crawl back in. This is a mess. I mean, this is what I'm having to crawl through. Uh, both dogs are opening. They're acting like they're treed. Um, I've gotten as close as I think I can get and trying to locate the coon, uh, but uh, I can't get it in here. I got Lily acting like she's treed and then Abner's barking like he's treed. I mean, it's just a jungle of mess in here. So I'm going to keep on looking and picking through it and see if I can't find that coon. Uh, you can hear the dogs treeing. That's Lily girl treeing. I just can't get to him. I mean, I, there's just no way to get through this stuff. So it sucks about hunting down here. I mean, is I can get this is about as close as I can get. Um, they got it caught. I can't locate it, which sucks. Uh, I'd really like to shoot this one out for her, especially being a young dog like that. But yeah, I, I just can't get in there close enough to try to get it located. Uh, I've done the best I could, so keep trying for a little bit more and probably pull them off and then uh, move on. I don't know if you can see the eyes on a ringtail cat. I say there's a ton of them in here so that could have been what they treed uh not too sure i never found a coon coons are pretty hard to find and locate in these trees here as you can tell it's real thick uh, so i'm gonna give them the benefit of the doubt that it was a coon this uh, ringtail cat's a completely different area than where they were treeing so i don't know uh, i'm gonna just say it's a coon chalk it up to that move on and uh, see if we can find another one all right so i guess abner's uh what do they call it in the coon world struck in so uh let's see well we just got done with that other tree uh, where we couldn't locate a coon in it but they were treeing pretty good on it uh moved up a little ways and uh abner struck again so let's see uh what happens we're in a little bit better spot over here if uh, they do tree something that i can probably get to them so let's see what happens come get us a coon or what huh what y'all happy about All right, so uh, a little quick update on what we got going on tonight. Uh, just sat here for about 30 minutes uh, while the dogs pecked at a track. I thought they were gonna get going real good. Uh, they moved it quite a bit. It was a pretty cold track, uh, <clears throat> but they did a pretty good job of moving it as far as they could. Uh, I keep kind of physically moving them up a little bit at a time, hoping for them to pick it up on the hotter end and uh, take off with it. But uh, so far it's a pretty cold track. Uh, so we'll just keep on moving up and uh, see what we can get done. Maybe they can uh, get on the hotter end of it and get something treated. Just not enough 
that dog. He backs up into bushes and he craps on top of the bush. Uh, it's kind of strange. He does it at the house on top of bricks and whatnot too. So anyways, uh, aside from that, uh, so let's see. Uh, we're turned around. Uh, we're going to hunt our way uh, kind of back home uh, to uh, where we kind of come in at. So we'll keep going. Uh, hopefully uh, we get on something. All right, guys, well, that uh, concludes our uh, coon hunt for the night. Uh, we got cut a little bit short because Abner decided he was going to play with a skunk. So he got uh, skunked tonight. Thank God the little female, she didn't know what the heck was going on, so she didn't uh, get involved in that nonsense. Um, I don't know why that dog, Abner, likes to play with those skunks. Uh, I've had that issue with him since I got him. I've shocked him. I've done everything to try to break him from playing with those skunks and he just will not stop so uh we got cut a little bit short not too much uh had a pretty pretty decent night out there uh we had a lot of strikes uh we had one tree uh on that tree that I, I couldn't find a coon in there but i'm also not gonna say that they weren't treated on a coon because i couldn't really get to exactly where they were treating or you know get around where i can shine it pretty good to you know rule out if there was a coon in there or not i mean it was that stuff was super thick as you can see you know, in the video of me trying to get in there uh, there was just no way it was going to happen uh so all in all like i said a pretty good night other than the dog getting skunked um we're going to try to go out again tomorrow uh night down here i was actually supposed to go hunt up uh north of here uh by albuquerque tonight uh, but i ended up uh, not going because the friend that i was going with from up there uh, he had some stuff that he had to take care of for work i guess tonight or to, tomorrow morning early so he was only going to be able to go out for about an hour and a half which isn't uh wasn't really worth the uh, drive for me because uh, that's a two hour two hour and 45 minute drive so we decided we'll try that again uh, another time hopefully this next week uh before uh, turkey season kicks off because uh once turkey season kicks off, I'll be busy for a few weeks uh, out there chasing those uh, thunder chickens. Uh, but uh, hopefully tomorrow night I can get you guys another video up uh, uh, of us out there hunting down here in southern New Mexico. We might try to hit a different spot on the river that I was told about that has some uh, coon sign in there and go from there. So thanks for watching. Uh, remember to like and subscribe and uh, go and hit that little bell for notifications for all our uh, upcoming videos. <laughs>